Let me step out. Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you are on our sensational world earth, I wish you happiness wherever you are located. Um, I'm just going to get to the point. I'm not going to get my little quiz like I usually do. If you all know anything about Netflix TV or what, one of them other streaming service, in 2018, I think they had the show, the superhero show called The Seven. Oh, no, not The Yeah, The Seven and another, a.k.a. The Boys. Now, I was checking online comparing The Seven's most powerful member, who's called Homelander, versus Superman. So... Who's the stronger one? Who's the most powerful one? Superman or Highlander? Right now, on my streaming service, I'm watch. I'm on episode six, I believe, of the show, The Seven or The Boys or whatever they call. A few days ago, I checked out on, not going on YouTube to see comparison. Who's better, Superman or, um, what's his name, Homelander? Now, I definitely know. And one more thing about me, my good friends, I've been reading comic books for decades. For decades, since I was 13. So 30 plus 13 give you an idea of my age group. So I definitely can speak on DC and definitely Marvel characters, because you know, when I was a child, it was only two vendors, DC, Marvel, and maybe like the little sub comic comic that made Archie, but it was definitely two major players when I was a child who made comic books, DC and Marvel. Now, back to who is more powerful, Superman or Highlander? Before I get into my take and the empirical evidence who's better let's make a little comparison between the two both has super speed but i never saw highlander run so i don't know if his super speed uh deals with him on solid ground from all i saw highlander super speed i saw him uh fly real fast i i didn't see him crack the sound barrier though because if a person can travel 300 miles an hour, that's fast. So when Highlander was flying, I never seen so far, because I'm on episode six, I never have seen him crack that sound barrier. And you definitely know, my good people, I don't care if Superman was made in the 70s or in the 2000s. He always has been able to easily smash that sound barrier. Especially with the Man of Steel movie. He routinely smashed that sound barrier. Because you always saw that pressure of air in front of him. And if he got that pressure of air in front of him, like we saw in the Man of Steel movies, he was exceeding the speed of sound. But of course, I definitely can't say who can fly faster. Because... Superman, he don't crack the sound barrier if he don't have to. Because Highlander, when he was flying, you know, he was just flying in his local city. Not in a city. And why do, I need to, why do I need to travel 700 miles per hour or more if I'm just in my local city? If Superman just flying around Metropolis, he'd probably be flying the same speed Highlander's flying. 200 miles an hour, 300, 150, etc. So, in speed... I can't say who's superior. Next, invulnerability. Highlander is invulnerable. Superman is invulnerable. But here's the clue. In that seven universe or the boys universe, Highlander is the most powerful individual who we've seen, who we have seen so far. So his invulnerability has not been pushed to the test. We've seen Superman and vulnerability has been pushed to the test. He's fighting people like Doomsday, Brainiac, 
supermen from other earths, etc. He's fight. He's fought against Mongol and other people. He's fight. His Superman has fought on people on his same uh, invulnerability level and strength level. So I cannot say if Highlander is superior than Superman with invulnerability because I never seen Highlander take a massive hit. Now I did do some brief research on Highlander. It said when he was a young child, he was strapped to several atomic weapons. And those atomic weapons exploded and he still survived it. So if this television version is based on that exact same Highlander, then I would have to say he's on par with Superman when it comes to invulnerability. Moving down the line, um, I can say Heat Vision. Both Highlander and Superman, I definitely have to say this, I give it to him. I say they probably equal in Heat Vision. When Superman is on Earth, nothing is, is with able to withstand his Heat Vision. Brick can't withstand it, steel can't withstand it or any uh, alloy of steel can withstand Superman's heat vision. So Highlander, brick cannot withstand it, steel cannot take Highlander's heat vision, nor can metal alloys withstand it. So I say right there, Superman and Highlander heat vision are equal because when they do cut through steel, they cut through the steel like butter. For instance, I definitely remember this. I think it was in episode three when Highlander uh, destroyed that Baltimore congressperson plane. He was, I, I said he was about at least 300 meters away from the plane and he cut through that plane like it was butter. So, yes, Highlander, and that's another point. Superman, he can be far away when he uses heat vision and it's still just as effective and that's as deadly whether he's six feet away from you or six meters away from you or he's 400 meters away from you. Highland, it applies to Highlander as well. His heat vision is still as effective as if he was three meters from you and if he was 400 meters away from you and he still shot you, the, the, his heat vision would not lose its potency. Next. Strength. If you've been reading comic books or even in the Man of Steel movies, we have seen Superman lift up massive objects. Before he got his Superman costume in Man of Steel, he was holding up that oil rig. That was number one. Before he got his costume, he destroyed that man's uh, truck with those metal beams. But that's a minor display of strength. Spider-Man can do stuff like that. Highlander. As I stated earlier, from what I've seen of that seven universe, no one has really pushed his uh, level of strength that much. Any superhero, I've seen Highlander, he killed people by sticking his hand through their chest. A person who can lift a thousand pounds has enough power to stick his hand in someone's chest. In a movie so far, I haven't seen Highlander rip any doors. I haven't seen him lift anything heavy. But remember, I'm just on episode six. And I think it's eight episodes in, in total. So while I'm on episode six, I know he's strong, but I have not seen him doing any massive display of strength, like lifting the mountain, which Superman can easily do. But since he's a Superman clone, I do know, and since he's the mightiest superhero on the planet, I do know he has to have a massive level of strength, whether I see it or not. But, now I'm only comparing him to the Superman in the movie theaters. I'm not comparing him to the Superman in the comic book, because the damn Superman in the comic book, with the help of Wonder Woman, and the Martian Man has to, he can, he can pull the earth. I don't think that Superman 
and man of still got that type of strength where he going to be push, pulling the earth. So that's my comparison. Also, if you like my little discussion, give me my little thumbs up. Give me my little thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Now, the next thing I want to describe about Superman and Highlander is their intelligence level. Both of them, they do seem to have a high level of intelligence. Superman is a leader. He's led the Justice League a number of times. And basically other heroes look up to him for his intellect, not just his brawn and might. The same can be applied to Highlander. He has a high degree of intelligence. He's a leader. Whether he had his powers or not, he still is a natural leader. But of course, having the powers is intimidating. But Superman and Homelander, they are both alpha level characters. And when I say alpha, a woman can be an alpha just as easily as a male could be alpha. But in this case, you just happen to be two alpha level males. Alright, I believe I want to say one more thing to wrap it up, but I, I compared their ability to fly, I compared their heat vision, and, so, and also, okay, the minor powers. Uh, and I didn't see Highlander display in the movie, in the TV series yet, because remember, I'm on episode six. But when I read the books, when I read the little internet excerpt, it said that Highlander got the little weird power like Superman had, like frost breath. Uh, he, can, he can blow a tremendous amount of air and all that. So since he's a Superman clone, he can do the same thing, but I haven't seen him do it because even Superman, for the most part in the comic books and in the movies, he don't, since he got so many other powers, he don't go around using his freeze breath all day long. He don't go around using his uh, powerful wind breath all day long. Here's the last and final part that I want to compare. Their so-called X-ray vision. They both are equal on that. Well, Superman may be a little bit better. They may be a little bit better. I don't know. Because Superman, he can use his X-ray vision miles away. Miles away. But I also did my, little, my research on... Homelander, he can use his x-ray vision miles away. But you know, the TV not going to show nothing like that. They want to show you using the powers, you know, up close, like in the Man of Steel movie. He didn't use his x-ray vision miles away. It was still up close. So when it comes to x-ray vision, and they are both equal, but of course they got different weaknesses. X-ray, Superman cannot see through lead. Since he's a clone, I believe Homelander cannot see, see through what? Zinc, nickel, something like that. Some, a little, some other little metal. But neither one of them can see through a precious metal. He's either Homeland, I believe, is zinc. Superman is lead. So that's my take on it, everyone. On Superman and Homelander. Now, the only difference between Superman and Homelander, before I conclude this, is the way they was raised. In my brief research, when I read about him, it said he was raised by, you know, like the government or something. So the government in that universe did not give him much love and tenderness. But, hey, look, I know if he was for real... The government would damn make sure they're going to show him some love and tenants because they don't want him to become a black sheep, an unemotional killing force. But you know how the movies are. They got to make it seem like uh, the government don't want a person to be loved and cared for. If Homelander was alive today on earth to keep him sane and grounded, a scientist, the government, they would not be using him extensively as no weapon. He said, look, we want him to be attached to humanity so he don't go around just killing people. Like in that TV show. Since the TV show government did not make him feel connected to the humanity like Clark Kent, 
is connected, like Clark Kent, he's connected to humanity because he was raised by the Kents. If he was alive today, I'm, I guarantee you, if any alien come to this planet as a baby and he's under the government care, whether he or she's under the government care, it would behoove the government to make sure that alien powerhouse, while they young, while they tender, while they don't have their full potential, you better make sure that person is shown some love, taken to the movies, giving birthday parties, have a couple little friends. Now, they don't have to have a lot of friends, but at least be giving a lot of love from adults. Giving the love from adults. That's the important thing. Show how to interact with adults a little bit. But Highlander wasn't raised that way. So unlike Superman, who respect life, Highlander or Homelander, whatever you call himself, does not respect life. And I found that on a, in the movie part a little bit. Um, okay, they had to do that because they, they wanted to make him different from Superman. They wanted to make him different from Superman. So they could not show that he had a, a nice, gentle upbringing. All right, so that's my take. Once more, if you like my little comparison from a long established comic book reader on Homelander and Superman, once more, give my thumbs up and give me my. Um, you can subscribe to the channel to hear about other comic book characters. And before I go, I forgot this is what I'm going to talk about. Who wins? Who's more powerful, Superman or Highlander? Here's the catch. Drum roll, please. That's my drum roll. Superman is more powerful than Highlander. And this is how I discovered an episode, what was it, four, five, or six, one of them episodes, when Highlander was on that plane and uh, the terrorists killed the, the, uh, the captain. Highlander powers or his strength, most of his strength, he has to be on the ground to use his strength. So he may be connected to the earth. When he's flying, Highlander cannot carry substantially heavy objects. What I learned from Superman when I was reading about him, when he was remade in the 1980s, check out some of them early books in the 1980s. I think it was in a Man of Steel book. Superman say, when he's flying for heavy objects, it feels lighter because the aura that surrounds his body is also making the object lighter. And he was carrying a massive cruise ship, which weighed far more than a passenger airline. So that's where we have it. If Highlander and Superman was in a fight, Superman can pick up a mountain and throw it on that bastard. Highlander, all he can do with Superman is go blow for blow. He cannot throw any heavy objects at Superman. So that's my take. If you agree or disagree, leave a comment. And once more, give my thumbs up. So in hindsight, Superman is superior because he does not have no restrictions on what he can lift when he's flying. Peace.